Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself or a loved one off their meds and onto a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that too. If you have questions about the longevity business, the longevity products, our Truth Skin Health products, which you can find out all about at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com. If you have questions about anything you may have heard about, read about, formulations, ingredients, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. <clears throat> Excuse me, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. Got blog posts up as well as videos and news stories at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. If you're an entrepreneur or if you're entrepreneurially, entrepreneurially minded, if you like the idea of being your own boss, enjoying the tax benefits associated with having your own business. If you don't want to punch a time clock, you want to work out of the house, you want to make a little extra money, a little spare change, or if you want to make a lot of money. Some folks are making six figures a year off of uh, off of uh, selling longevity products and spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Call 866-735-2470 if you want more information, or you can sign up and join right off the website. It's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're tired of paying for wax and silicon and oil and water and preservatives, and if you just want active materials, Truth Skin Health products are what you're looking for. I've been using them myself personally and giving them to my friends for 30 years. That's why I started, that's why I developed the Truth Skin Health products, is to give you the benefits of the same kind of products that I've been using myself as a chemist and as a formulator. And I've been giving to my mom and my friends and um, people that I love and people that I care about. Now you can enjoy the same products at truthtreatments.com, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, never any preservatives, fragrance, wax, fillers, silicon, oil, water, surfactants, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. That's Truth treatments.com truth treatments.com all right welcome back to the bright side friends once again we're talking fibromyalgia i was on the internet looking just i like to do research on all these various subjects before i go on the air and i was i came upon a website a webmd a fibromyalgia community and this is for folks who have fibromyalgia writing about their stories and i'm telling you this is an absolutely miserable condition if you don't know what it is it's it's hard to describe how miserable it is. I got one letter here. This is from a, a lady, uh, M. Salyers, 69. She posted, hi, my name is Marie, and 
I've had fibro for many years now. Uh, I thought I could still function as I always have. I tried going to I tried going to college online. Was doing good for a while, and then I was told my uh, by my doctor that I had fibro fog. It was difficult for me to concentrate. I was so stressed because I cannot do my schoolwork. I'm in pain just typing this message. And this is the kind of thing that people deal with, just chronic long-term pain. She says here, uh, headaches, she had headaches, she tried to eat healthy, she tried to rest as much as she can, but she still feels miserable. And this is what people deal with when they have this condition. And the most, the worst thing about fibromyalgia, the way I look at it, is doctors don't know what to do and they think it's mental. They think it's an emotional problem. And while there may be a psychological component, it is not a mental issue as much as it's a physical issue specifically with the connective tissue. But because there's no tests for fibromyalgia, there's no di- there's no way you can officially diagnose somebody as having fibromyalgia based on factors in the blood or something that they can test for. Doctors will just dispense Prozac or some other serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or some other antidepressant, or maybe you'll get a muscle relaxant. Nothing can help fibromyalgia in the realm of the medical model because it's not really a drug or a medical issue. It's a breakdown issue. It's an inflammatory issue. It involves hormones like estrogen and cortisol. It involves the fight or flight response. Sugar does not help. And by sugar, I mean any foods that break down quickly into sugar, not just straight sugar, but starches, dried fruits, fresh fruits can also be a problem. Fruit juices can be a problem. And by the way, this idea of fruits and fruit juices exacerbating fibromyalgia, as well as other inflammatory issues, is somewhat controversial because we labor under this illusion that fruits are somehow good for us. And while they do have some good things in them, especially in the peel and in the rind. Overall, when you're eating a lot of fruit, you're eating a lot of sugar, and sugar is inflammatory, especially fruit sugar, fructose, which is primarily handled by the liver. If you are dealing with fibromyalgia or any inflammatory health issue, which is to say all chronic degenerative diseases, it might be wise to lay off a fruit for a week or two and see how you do. There's no biological need for fruit. We like the way it tastes because they're genetically modified to be super high in sugar, but there's no real absolute need to have fruits. If you're dealing with an inflammatory condition, I highly recommend, like fibromyalgia, I highly recommend that you lay off of fruits for a couple of weeks and see how you do. Even veggies can be a problem for some folks. And this is why the whole good food, bad food thing is not necessarily in your interest. The list of good foods and bad foods, you know, the the top 10 good foods, top 10 bad foods, everybody's got their own good foods and bad foods. And I don't like predetermined lists. It's best to make your own list based on how you respond to specific foods. In any case, if you're dealing with fibromyalgia or any other inflammatory health issue, it's probably a good idea to lay off of certain foods or even to fast. Fasting's amazing for dealing with inflammatory health issues. If you fast long enough, inflammation's gonna go down. And by long enough, I'm talking about maybe two days or three days. Foods are going to initiate at least a transient temporary inflammatory response, all foods, because when we ingest a food and it goes into the blood, the body's gotta be on red alert. It doesn't know what's getting into the blood until it's all processed, so the, an immune reaction is going to be initiated after any kind of foods. That's not to say you're not going to be eating, but you just want to be very careful with what you ingest, particularly if you're dealing with fibromyalgia or any any other inflammatory health issue. Fast for a day or two. That's where the elimination diet comes in as well. So fast for a couple of days. This is a this is a, a hallmark pillar, a fundamental idea of the bright side philosophy. No matter what your health challenge is, no matter what, fast for a day or two, then do the elimination diet where you eat one kind of food and you write down what you eat and you write down your, your response to that food, whether it's a digestive response like gas or bloating or discomfort or constipation or loose stools or whether it's a skin problem or whether it's just general fatigue. Keep no Notes, keep, uh, uh, accumulate data, accumulate information based on the foods you eat. That's the uh, fasting and the elimination diet. It's step number one for anyone who wants to recover from a long-term chronic degenerative disease. And make no mistake about it, the body is designed to recover from chronic long-term degenerative diseases if you do it correctly. 
And that means eliminating whatever's getting into the blood that's initiating the problem. I'm going to say it again. That's so important. Your body can reverse any chronic degenerative disease, no matter what your boneheaded medical professional tells you. Your body can reverse any long-term chronic degenerative disease. It may take a little bit longer if you are, have been dealing with it for a while, but reversal is in the realm of possibility. It's in the body's nature to recover and heal. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to... You may... All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and uh, we've got some lines open for you. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, if you're dealing with fibromyalgia or you know somebody dealing with fibromyalgia, or if you have uh, health challenges of any kind, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So fibromyalgia is an absolutely miserable health challenge. It involves... Uh, pain from head to toe. Your entire body is a source of pain. I, I can't even begin to imagine what that must be like. You get these tender spots and sore spots. You go to the doctor. They can't do anything about it. You'll get muscle relaxants or pain pills or antidepressants, but nothing will help. The first thing you want to consider when you have fibromyalgia, if you have fibromyalgia, is the first thing you want to consider all the time with any chronic degenerative disease, and that's food. This is the number one reason why the body inflames, which should make perfect sense, aside from the fact that the foods we're all subsisting on didn't exist 200 years ago. Even carrots and chicken and supposedly natural foods didn't really exist because of the way our soils have changed over the course of the last couple hundred years. So we're all subsisting on foods that the human body is not designed to subsist on. We, uh, an immune response, an inflammatory response is initiated no matter what we eat, even if we eat so-called well, so-called healthy, so-called organic, even if we're gluten-free. And of course, then there, the whole concept of nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies can follow malabsorption or lack of intake. So in addition to working with the digestive system, doing the elimination diet, practicing fasting, using liquid nutrition, using probiotics and good bacteria and digestive enzymes, you want to make sure that you're using nutritional supplements. The Osteomag from Longevity. Magnesium is one of the all-time great anti-fibromyalgia supplements. The Ultimate EFAs, stupendously anti-inflammatory, stupendously estrogen balancing. And we're going to talk about the relationship of estrogen to fibromyalgia here in a little bit. Your essential fatty acids are like a natural form of estrogen, good estrogen, balancing estrogen, anti-inflammatory estrogen. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs to be supplementing with, ulti- or with your ultimate EFAs or any essential fatty acid supplement. They, if they're unspeakably valuable and they're not found in any foods, or in, I shouldn't say that, they're not found in enough quantities in very many foods because they're so unstable and they're processed out of foods quickly. Hyaluronic acid can help. Selenium very important for helping balance out estrogen and helping the body process sugar. The ultimate nightly essence, probiotics help the body process fats. Probiotics, or or I should say dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria, is always going to have a relationship to inflammatory health challenges. The glucogel caps, bone soup, bone broth protein, vitamin C. We sometimes underestimate the value or underappreciate the value of vitamin C because it's good for so many different things. Vitamin D, vitamin E, these are all powerfully anti-inflammatory and should at least be tried, if not taken every day. Forget tried. Just use these supplements every day. Everybody needs them. They're called essential because you need them. You can't subsist without them. You can't exist without them. You might be able to get by with small doses, but why? Get yourself on the Healthy Start Pack. Get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. But as important as all of these strategies are, supplementation, working on the digestive system, nothing beats working on the stress management system, the adrenal thyroid complex. Fibromyalgia exemplifies what happens when we are under chronic long-term fight or flight activation. There is a clear relationship between fibromyalgia and cortisol the flagship hormone of the adrenal glands. Fibromyalgia, like all chronic diseases, all of them, is at least partially based in a fight-or-flight syndrome, in, in uh, amplified fight-or-flight fight or syndrome, in, in a jacked-up adrenal system, in a jacked-up fight-or-flight system. 
This can result in adrenal fatigue long term. This can result in suppression of cortisol or resistance to cortisol. Remember, cortisol is anti-inflammatory. We, we rip on cortisol a lot, but cortisol actually is anti-inflammatory. Cortisol, uh, cortisol levels, we feel good when our cortisol levels go up temporarily, when our cortisol levels go up in the short term. Do you know first thing in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, as soon as the sun hits your eyes, even if you're asleep, even if the sunlight somehow is registered through your eyelids while you're sleeping, you're going to get a, sur a surge of cortisol. This is supposed to happen. It's how we're supposed to wake up with a quick burst of cortisol. The problem with cortisol is when it's constantly being secreted. From the, 19, uh, from the Journal of Rheumatology in 1998 article, quote, fibromyalgia is a disorder associated with an altered functioning of the stress response system. Continuing, this was concluded from hyperreactive stress hormones, specifically hyperreactive hyper pituitary adrenocorticotropic hormones, that's just stress hormones, in response to release of hormones from the adrenal glands, and check this out, and to insulin-induced hypoglycemia. That means low blood sugar in patients with fibromyalgia. So it's a combination of sugar and cortisol, all the things we talk about here on the bright side. Fibromyalgia is just a dramatic example of what happens to the body when we messed up, when our digestive system is messed up, when we're eating too much sugar, and we have a jacked up adrenal thyroid, adrenal system and, and subsequent hypothyroidism. I call that the triangle of disease. It is the fundamental sequence of the development of all chronic long-term degenerative diseases. Take that to the bank, the uh, triangle of disease, the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal thyroid complex. Now, adrenal health issues, a jacked up adrenal system can definitely be, follow, uh, be subsequent to messed up blood sugar and a messed up digestive system. It can be subsequent to inflammation, just general inflammation or perhaps degeneration of tissue, but it can also be subsequent to mental health issues, our thinking mind, our memories, our past traumas. Remember, fibromyalgia is a connective tissue problem. It's a fascial problem, the fascia, and the fascia has a memory. The fascia stores trauma information. The fa uh, a lot of this fascial storage, a lot of the trauma that we go through, our natural traumas that we go through in our lives, just being born is a trauma, childhood is a trauma. For most of us, our parents didn't really have an operating manual knowing how to raise us. So almost all of us are going to go through some kind of existential trauma associated with childhood. And a lot of times it's unconscious. Sometimes it's conscious and a lot of times it's unconscious. A lot of times... Our body is going through a stress response. Our body is manifesting some kind of traumatic response to trauma unconsciously. Check out your jaw right now. Check out your muscles. Sometimes you'll notice that when you're sleeping, your hands are contracting, your feet are contracting. We can be going through a stress response even when we're sleeping. I know I have the problem in my jaw sometimes. If you have TMJ, this is a, a major sign that you're carrying fascial trauma in your jaw muscles. This can not only cause pain, this, these contractions, these unconscious contractions in your fingers, your toes, your extremities, your jaw, not only is this responsible for pain, but it can also in the long term cause fatigue as the energy of contraction can be draining. It can also lead to cosmetic problems, wrinkles, and skin aging can be subsequent to fascial restriction or fascial contraction in the face. Because when the fascia contracts, when the fascia, when the fascia is tightened, not only does it involve pain, not only does it involve long-term chronic fatigue, but it can also drain nutrients. It can also cause suffocation of the cells. The cells are fed via the connective tissue, and when the connective tissue is contracted over the long term, this can cause nutritional deficiencies in the cells, accelerating the aging process, generating inflammation, generating tenderness, generating knots of tissue, they call that trigger points. And this is where something called myofascial release can be so helpful, which is something we're going to be talking about here uh, in the coming episodes on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll come back with you and your phone calls right after this on The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Have search engines up at both those sites. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, by the way, benfuchsarchives.com. 
which is a, a compilation site. It has all my other websites and blogs on benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase Longevity products off our websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can join the Brightside Ben team and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you benefited from a supplement program and you want to share it or share the information or pay it forward, this is a perfect way to make some money and help spread the word at the same time. Of course, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're business-minded or if you want to make some, some spare cash, the longevity business is something you want to look into. Call 866-735-2470. Call uh, that's 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop. You can also sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. also want to remind you about our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, retinol, 5% gel if you're dealing with age spots, hyperpigmentation, acne blemishes, or if you just want an overall skin tonic to prevent or slow down the aging process, you want to be using retinol and vitamin C, and that's exactly what my Truth Retinol 5% Gel is. It's a big old dose of vitamin C, fat-soluble vitamin C, and a big dose of retinol, 5% retinol, with no preservatives, fragrance, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon oil, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We need a couple stories here before we get to your calls. We do have a couple lines open, by the way. This is from the journal Clinical Cancer Research. Low carb or lower carb diet slows growth of aggressive brain tumor in mouse models. University of Florida health researchers have, sh have slowed a notoriously aggressive type of brain tumor in mouse models by using a low carbohydrate diet. I cannot say this enough, folks. Cancer is a sugar feeder. We eat way too much sugar, and I'm not necessarily sure that our epidemic of cancer, it's the second leading cause of death. Do you know cancer was the eighth leading cause of death back in the 1970s when Rich, President Richard Nixon declared the so-called war on cancer? And since then, we've spent probably close to a trillion dollars on fighting cancer. That's in the last 40 years, 44 years, 45 years. And what is, what, what's happened? Cancer's gone from the number eight cause of death to the number two cause of death, soon to be the number one cause of death. We have an, a massive epidemic of cancer, and I don't know if it's the direct cause, but certainly uh, our carbohydrate-rich diets, the diets, uh, the carbohydrate-rich diets that are recommended by our medical professionals and our, our, our nutritional professionals, our dietitians. I don't know if it's a direct cause, but it's certainly involved. This is a uh, study from the journal Clinical, Ran Clinical Cancer Research that showed that a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet, which includes coconut oil, by the way, helped, or coconut oil derivative, helped reduce the growth of glioblastoma tumors, that's uh, brain tumor cells, and extended the lifespan of mouse models by 50%. If you are, God forbid, dealing with any kind of cancer, or if you just want to prevent cancer, go low-carb as best as you can. Go high veggie, high fat, high protein, low carbohydrates. Remember, there's a, no essential need for carbohydrates. Your body can get energy from protein. It can get it from fat. And now all foods are going to get you some carbohydrates, but certainly this high carbohydrate craziness that we all subsist on in this country, including myself, it does not serve our health interests in terms of diabetes, in terms of inflammatory diseases, and in terms of cancer as well. Along the same lines, from the journal Molecular and Cellular Proteonomics, eating less slows down the aging process. There's a million-dollar industry devoted to products that fight the signs of aging, but aging is an internal issue. It's a cellular issue. It's not a cream issue. Even my retinol or my topical vitamin C is not going to slow down the aging process if you're eating a lot of food and you're eating a lot of carbs, according to this article, eating less foods. Calorie restriction will slow down the aging process. Where have you heard that before? Another hallmark, basic pillar of what I call the bright side philosophy is eating less food is good for you. According to uh, this article, according to, uh, uh, what's this guy's name? John Price, senior author, Brigham Young University biochemistry professor, when, quote, when you restrict calorie consumption, there is a li almost a linear increase in lifespan, unquote. That means the more, less calories you eat, the longer you live. Something we've been talking about on this program since the beginning. Calorie restriction, optimum nutrition. When we talk about calorie restriction, it's important to keep in mind 
optimum nutrition is part of the equation. So when you're eating less calories, you still want to make sure you're getting your Mighty 90 essential nutrients. And this, this is one of the major benefits of getting on a good nutritional supplement program, like the Healthy Start Pack and the Mighty 90 essential nutrients that you get from Longevity. Eat less calories, get more nutrients, live longer, and look prettier too. Look more beautiful as well. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Good morning, Truth Raider. Oh, shoot, I just hung up. Truth Raider, call back. I apologize. I didn't mean to hang up on you there, buddy. Uh, let's go to Eric in Panama City. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Eric in Panama City. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. How are you today, Ben? Good morning, sir. All right. Here's what I'm dealing with. My days are pretty long. I usually get up at about 5 a.m., start work at about 6 a.m. Usually somewhere around 9 a.m., I start getting sleepy, dozing off. Uh, and this only started happening in about the last year and a half. Is it after it breakfast, should, uh, Eric? Is it after breakfast? Say again. Is it after breakfast? It's after breakfast, yes. Okay, well, that would be the first thing that I would be looking at is your breakfast. What do you typically eat? Uh, four boiled eggs and uh, usually a piece of baked chicken or uh, some ground beef. I usually have some meat with it. Good for uh, you, man. That's, that's, a, that's an awesome breakfast. What do you, are you, get, you must be getting some kind of juice or bread or potatoes or something like that, no? Well, it's a, it's a new breakfast that I started because my breakfast used to consist of me eating oatmeal every morning. Okay. Do you notice that when you changed to a high-protein breakfast that affected the fatigue at all, or did it make it worse, or did it change, or did it stay the same? It, 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 it helped. It definitely helped. Okay, that's where I would be. That that's what I would be looking at is an issue with food. Uh, now you can remember this is really important and not not appreciated by a lot of folks. Protein gets turned into sugar, and protein. If you're not using that protein, it sounds like you're getting a lot of protein. If you're not using that protein, it will become fat. It will trigger an insulin response, and it can make you drowsy. So it's important if you're going to go high protein that you're using the protein, and that means working out or doing some resistance training or some kind of muscle building. Protein builds right. tissue. So if you're not enjoying the benefits of muscle building or, or tissue building, but you're still getting the protein, that can cause some fatigue. I would be looking to link the fatigue with the food. Try fasting. Try not eating breakfast at all and see if that makes a difference for you. Try using nutrients that help your body process protein. If you, if you're gonna, if you don't want to fast, try uh, using um, uh, your ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, um, perhaps st something that stimulates digestive juices with your, when you're doing the protein, things like uh, dandelion greens or perhaps uh, Swedish bitters, if you know what those are, before you eat your protein. In other words, help your body process the protein more effectively. I would be fasting first, see if that makes a difference, and then uh, going sm eating smaller amounts of protein, see if that makes a difference, and then using, uh, using uh, digestive support for the protein and see if that makes a difference. Hang on, I'll get some more ideas for you, okay? Don't go away. And a uh, Truth Raider, if you're out there, give me a call back and I'll get you on. I apologize for hanging up on you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Eric in Panama City, Florida. Hello, Eric. Um, hey. I'm going to go real quick here, buddy. It sounds to me like you're having a problem with food. The only way to know for sure is to do a fast, and not necessarily fast, but just skip breakfast and see if that makes a difference. Second thing you might want to do is uh, eat less protein or less food, calorie restrict. If you don't want to, like a full-blown fast or full-blown skipping breakfast, then uh, you might want to try reducing the amount of food that you eat, especially protein. There's a misunderstanding about protein in the sense that we don't realize protein can get turned into sugar and it can, it, it can initiate an insulin response, which will cause over the, if you eat too much of it anyway, it can cause hypo low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, which will make you feel like you need a nap. If you don't want to do that, try liquid protein. Try using, uh, t instead of having ground beef or, or meat, as you, were as you were explaining, have chicken soup. 
have a bone broth or even a bone broth protein smoothie and see if that makes a difference. Also using digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar or Swedish bitters or dandelion greens or horseradish at the beginning of your meal to see if that helps. That will help you process, that will help stimulate the secretion of stomach acid and help you process the protein more effectively. Don't forget your B vitamins. The B vitamins help the body utilize energy and uh, uh, get amino acids, the building blocks, out of the protein that you're eating. If you're not getting enough B vitamins, if you're deficient in B vitamins, and this is extremely common, you're not going to get the most bang from your buck from your protein, you won't get the most benefit, and uh, you, you actually may get a little fatigued as your body tries to process that protein. Your Beyond Tangy Tangerine should be thought of as a B vitamin drink. Yes, it's got other things in there, but nothing is more important than its B vitamin content. So using a little BTT with your meals, or even just BTT instead of your meals, and see if that makes the difference. I hope that's enough information for you. I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Anything else you want to you want to ask me? Does that help you, Eric? Yeah, that helps a lot. And just just uh, one more thing. Sometimes I, uh, for lack of a better term, I get what I consider to be some extreme uh, brain fog. What do you recommend? All the same for? idea. All the same yeah. idea. Maybe it sounds like you're dealing with low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, following too much protein. Uh, at the beginning of the day. So I would be going, everything I just told you, go try fasting, okay. try calorie restriction, try limiting the amount of protein that you get. Don't forget good bacteria either. Probiotics are very important, and they're very important for brain health, specifically for brain health, for a lot of things, but specifically for brain health issues. Get on the nightly essence. Uh, try doing maybe eight or nine capsules a day. And also, don't forget fiber. There's no fiber in meat. There's no fiber in a lot of high-protein foods. So you may not be getting enough fiber, and that can also exacerbate digestive health issues or problems with malabsorption or or utilizing or breaking down your protein. So maybe start off the day, start off your breakfast or the day with some ground up flax seeds in water or in almond milk. I like it in water, but it's also good in almond milk. It makes a nice little pudding. All right, that's a okay. ton of information there for you, my friend. Thanks, so, thanks for calling, right. and um, hope I helped you out. All right, let's go to uh, Florida, stay in Florida, actually, and talk to Spanky. Good morning, Spanky. How you doing? Welcome uh, to the Bright Side. Sensei, only guy touch you must, which means teacher, please teach me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, I'm, well, I'm, I didn't quite understand that. I heard teach me. What's your question, Spanky? Um, it has to do with fasting. Okay. Um, I want to know when you fast, does that, is that also uh, help with detoxification? It is the way to detox, in my opinion. Okay. When you fast, when you stop putting stuff in your stump, into your body, into your digestive system, the, the body will naturally clean itself out. So uh, a lot of times when, when we're eating steadily, either throughout the day or we don't take a day off, we don't take time off from eating, our body doesn't have a chance to clean itself out. Our intestines don't have a chance to clean itself out. The liver doesn't have a chance to clean itself out. Remember, every time you eat, your body's detoxification, or your body's detox system kicks in to try to process the food. And that's even good food because everything's got something in there that the body has to purify or eliminate. So to me, fasting is the best way to detoxify. I like it way better than any detox formulas or detox pills or herbal detox. Fasting to me is the ultimate detox strategy. It's free, it's easy to do, and it's got multiple health benefits. In my opinion, that's the way we want to detox. Okay? Okay. Thank okay, you. and I had, one, I had one other question if I could ask real quick. Sure, go ahead, on the, thank you. On the, on the time release um, niacin, Yes. I tried... Uh, I tried to find it on the site, and I couldn't yeah, find it. Yeah, that's my bad on that. I, I was under oh, the impression okay. the ultimate niacin from Longevity, the new product, is time release. It's not, and that is my bad. Oh, okay. I, I've been telling people, and somebody brought that to my attention a couple of weeks ago. I meant to say, meant to say something I forgot. Uh, yeah, the oh, ultimate okay. niacin is not timed release. So if you want a timed release niacin, you're going to have to get it on the Internet, or you'll have to go to a, a drugstore and have them order it for you. Uh, I like okay. the time release niacin, but a lot of folks are getting benefits from the ultimate niacin. You're going to have to decide for yourself how you want to handle that. Okay. And that was my, my All right. mistake. All right. Thank you okay. so much, Spanky. I have sure a great day. Take care, brother. Bye-bye. All right. Richie in New York, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you so much, Ben, for what you do. Thank I'm you. So I appreciate it. I'm so appreciative, and I'm sure many other people are, too. I appreciate I you saying that. You're yes, welcome. Sir. I I appreciate um, two major issues, and we may not be able to touch on both now in such short time, but hypertension, uh, I have an issue with that as related to uh, opioid uh, withdrawal for pain medication. Okay. And number two is what you talked about earlier with the uh, uh, fibromyalgia. 
um, and chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, my Are you dealing with, and, are you yeah, dealing with those issues? I might be. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Myalgic okay. encephalomyelitis. The first okay, one I'm definitely dealing with. The second one is what I'm thinking might be the problem. Like, Say that again, word. real slow. Myalgic encephalomyelitis, right? right? That's just Correct. Well, that's just Latin gibberish. It mean, myalgia means pain. Right. Encephalo right. means your brain. And, yep. uh, and so swelling my- of the brain. Correct. That's all that means is that you got swelling right. in the brain causing muscle pain. It's the same basic idea. And you want to do right. everything that we talk about, fasting number one and then the elimination diet. That's the first thing you want to go through. By the way, hypertension is a sign that the body's in distress. And it can easily follow with withdrawal from opioids because when you withdraw from opioids, that's a major stressor on the body. This is why nobody wants to withdraw and why we stay addicted is because we've got to go through this stress response that's miserable. So hypertension is a sign that the stress response has been initiated. Doctors call it essential hypertension, which means it's unknown. I'm telling you the cause. The body's in distress. So you got to calm everything down. Fasting will help do that. When you start eating again, look for problem foods. Make sure you're keeping your blood sugar stable by going ketogenic, which is more fat and less calories, calorie restriction. Use nutrients that help the body process sugar, zinc, selenium, sulfur. I know I'm going fast here because I got, uh, I'm got. i just going to run out of time. Thank you. Keep zinc, going. Keep going. Zinc, selenium. You Go ahead. Okay, zinc, selenium, sulfur, all the B-complex, but especially thiamine, B1, and niacin. Get on the ultimate niacin. Make sure you're using your probiotics, your ultimate nightly essence, as well as fiber. Remember, they work together. Apple cider vinegar with all your meals. And most importantly, most importantly, calm the body down with relaxation strategies, hot water, hot baths. This is the biggest problem we have. We live in a stress culture. It's hard to calm the body down. But it's critical that you do this. Absolutely critical. You'll notice that you get pain relief just from that. Meditation, yoga, Reiki, massage, body work of all kinds. As I say, hot water, even just a a washcloth, hot washcloth across your eyes can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation response. Uh, Hey, Richie, I got to motivate. I'm just out of time and I want to get one more call in. Thanks so much for your call. Send me an email if you have more questions. Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number in there. God bless you, my friend. I hope that hope I helped you out. All right, let's uh, finish up with Truth, Ra- Truth Raider this morning. Sorry, I hung up on you there, buddy. What's going on? How come? No, what do no you got? Worries. What do you got for us? No worries. This is a testimonial. Oh, good. I, I like this. Gonna, I don't think you're going to agree with this, though. Oh, okay. But I had uh, a package of maple bacon, and I cooked okay. it to its fully cooked it to its uh, to its readiness. <laughs> yeah. I applied it with salad. Chicken and a few other vegetables. It was very yeah. good. The salmon dressing, and the next morning, all the ailments that I had, I had an infection in my in my gum line that was driving me crazy for days, and I felt sick. I uh, you know, eye pain, uh, not feeling very good. I felt brand new, and I clean, I cleared up the next morning. Is this so, the Truth Raider Maple Bacon Diet? <laughs> you you got to write a book about that. <laughs> well, we're Raider. talking probably the, the name for it would be antibiotic bacon. <laughs> now you mean antibiotic, pure uh, uh, antibiotic-free uh, bacon, correct? Well, you don't I mean... don't know. It acted as a, a, either a probiotic or an antibiotic, but I felt much better the next morning. All right. Eat your bacon, man. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of folks. Who, I'm sure there's a lot of folks who are happy to hear that. Thanks for calling, buddy. I appreciate sure. it, Truth Raider. And again, I'm sorry I hung up on you. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm sorry if I left you on hold. Uh, that's why you got to call in early on the bright side. We'll be back at you on Monday, so if we left you on hold, call back. And please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream. If you're tired for paying, if you're tired of paying for water and fillers and waxes and oils and surfactants and stuff your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, you want to take a look at our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And don't forget to check out our Longevity sites as well. I'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com. Critical Health News com or pharmacistben.com and sign up right off the websites. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.